Well, hello. It's going on evening where I am, just past 4.30 in the afternoon. And the title of this video that I'm making is Confusion Seems to be Running Rampant. And the blurb goes like this. Yes, I've been paying attention as much as possible. I've read how many believe both Swiss Indo and the Dragon family are frauds. Because I want to believe in a positive solution to our dilemma of living in a world run by psychopaths, I cannot accept a, a no solution solution. And <laughs> I have that typed wrong. Uh, I'm just going to fix it so I don't forget that it's a real word. Anyway, I want to experience real change that will liberate humanity. It's been a rough day for me, and I'm just interjecting this as uh, an update on where I am emotionally and physically. Very draining day. Once again, I got very little sleep and very sporadic sleep, and now they're putting me on a diuretic in the morning and the evening. So in addition to doing number two, I'm going to be doing number one uh, more often. So they don't want me to sleep. Because I have to get up every one to two hours throughout the day and night to use the bathroom. Not recommended if you want to get solid rest. I haven't gotten solid rest since March. And some will contest that I wasn't getting solid rest then because I was on talking to people around the world and I was only getting four or five hours of sleep. Well, four or five hours of sleep is a hell of a lot better than what I'm getting right now. Anyway, there there is a dilemma going on. And yes, I have been paying attention. Uh, I've seen the people coming out with videos that say how Swiss Indo is just the cabal warmed over. That they're not really going to distribute um, $1,000 a month to each man and woman on the planet. And... Uh, or the twelve hundred, I think it's twelve hundred dollars a month, and six hundred dollars a month for each child on the planet as a way of liberating and getting us, getting the economy and society moving in a positive direction where we are actually uh, creditors and not debtors. Now the truth of the matter is, from the very beginning, we have been the creditors. When the United States went bankrupt back under uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, they put the people up as collateral, which means the value they recognize that the value was in the people. Of course, they've never treated the people as if they were the value. They've actually stolen from the people. Uh, did you know that when you take out a loan from any any commercial bank or or financial institution, that you are actually the, putting up the collateral? They are not. They have nothing whatsoever contribute to that transaction. All the contributions are being made uh, by the individual who is, quote, receiving the loan. But actually, the banks are the ones that are receiving the loan, and people don't know that. Now, I'd like to believe that if Swiss Indo, if the Swiss Indo plan comes into fruition, that the monies will be more adequately distributed. Nobody's going to get a million dollars off the bat. That's BS because if everybody was all of a sudden made a millionaire, no one would work. So the idea of of having a fu funding of five million dollars per person is a good idea, but to, to dole it out all at once would be a c catastrophic for our world situation, and we would uh, not welcome it at all because no one would want to do the jobs that need to be done. To keep society running. Neither do I believe that we're all of a sudden going to leap from this dimension into another dimension. Some people believe that. I believe there has to be a bridge. I've said that many times. There has to be a bridge between where we have been and where we're going. And I don't believe that money is going to be permanently put in place, but I do believe there needs to be a monetary bridge, as I've said many times. Now, some people, have, as I've implied in the blurb, have said that even the Dragon family is, is totally fraudulent, that uh, they don't have any, they're not even respected in their own country. Uh, they have no, they have no actual power. The 
communists, uh, which means that the old world order is still running the show there, uh, and no one from any new world order in Swiss Indo has the vision or the capability of actually bringing about the positive change that has been promised. And I believe that the ambassador and probably even the Red Dragon actually want to bring positive change. But many have suggested that they don't have the power to do it. Now, it's it's funny that people, when they try to figure out where the ambassador is from, get it all wrong, many of them. I read a, a post uh, earlier today of somebody saying that the ambassador is from Italy. Well, folks, that's simply not true. Is he European? Yes, he is of European descent, uh, but not Italy. And I don't need to go in any, in any detail as, as to where he's actually from, but the, the whole post uh, was was wrong. I mean, what they said about uh, Swiss Indo was off the wall and crazy. It was there was no relevant truth in that in that article that uh, that I did read, read. Which, by the way, the ambassador is the one who sent it to me to make sure that I would have a chance to do it. It's incredible the amount of lies that continue to be told and the games that are being played, the war games and the business strategy games, and all of the games of the old and the new clashing. And it's a confusing time to be alive. It's a confusing time to be anywhere on this planet because we are between uh, paradigms, uh, the old paradigm hopefully will give way to a new paradigm that liberates and puts us all in a place where we are honored and respected and that every man, woman, and child has the opportunity to grow and to become the best they can be uh, without all of the artificial constraints placed upon society by the current old administration the old world order, I'll call it. So if you are confused as to what the reality is, know that I am also confused. I'm still fighting to get uh, to overcome some of the limitations that I have because of the surgeries and because of the heart attack and because of the drugs. I want to get off of the pharmaceutical drugs with a dry mouth. Right now my mouth is dry and I took a drink of water just before I started this video. And it's dry again, dry and tasty. I have to live with this every day, every night, 24-7, uh, because the side effects of the pharmaceutical drugs uh, just are horrible. My dad, if I, I think I've mentioned this before, my dad, when he had all of his heart surgeries, he was taking the whole half of a table was filled with drugs. There had to be at least a dozen or more drugs that he was taking drugs to combat other drugs. That's how modern medicine works. And it's stupid, and it, and they put they, they create the side effects right in the prescription itself. They don't have to be there, but they do it so that they can sell more drugs. Anyway, confusion is running rampant, and I, I want you to know that I do recognize it, and I'm praying to God that not only that I become strengthened, and overcome some of the limitations of the meditation and all of the things that have happened to me in the past months, uh, but also that as a whole world, that we are able to achieve what I believe our destiny is and has been all along, to be free, truly free individuals without the limitations of the old world order. Thank you for listening to this video, and may God bless each one of you.